What's up, Wayne Baron here with DarkEffects.net, and we are inside of SQL Server 2012, and this can be done in near about any version of SQL Server. And what we're going to do is that we need to copy all of our hits from our main table over to our hits table because we're doing a completely new design on one of our websites. And so, how we copy all the data from there to here is that we first open up a query. Let's move our query over here. And we want to type in the following information. Our table is hits. Okay, and we need to grab a hold of hits and event ID, EVID. And so what we do is that we first insert into hits table the following values, EVID and hits. Okay, so now the next thing that we want to do is we want to do a select we want to grab a hold of our EV ID and our EV hits from our EV content table. Make sure that the same table columns are identical on both of them. So we got EV ID here as the first column, and EV ID there as the first column, and hits as second, and EV hits as the second column. If you have these reversed, then it will insert the wrong information into the wrong column. Okay, so now what should happen is that when we run this query, we should get all of the data should be inserted into our hits table right here. So let's see what happens. We got 103 rows affected. Come over here and refresh. And there we go. We have our event ID of 1 with hits of 1,739. So that is how you bring data from one table over to another table. All right. Wayne Baron here with DarkFlex.net. Y'all have a good one now. Bye-bye.